Welcome to isocrats.app channel, a platform where you learn, measure and grow. On this video, we will show a quick and simple way to solve the question. In this video, let us discuss about the partition of India. The question is, discuss the reasons behind the partition of India. The answer is, let us discuss in easy points. 1. As colonizers, the British had followed a divide and rule policy in India. In the census they categorized people according to religion and viewed and treated them as separate from each other. 2. The British based their knowledge of the people of India on religious texts and the intrinsic differences they found in them, instead of examining how people of different religions coexisted. 3. As soon as the Muslim League was formed, Muslims were placed on a separate electorate. Thus, the separateness of Muslims in India was built into the Indian electoral process. 4. There was also an ideological divide between the Muslims and the Hindus of India. By the late 19th century there were also communal conflicts and movements in the country that were based on religious identities rather than class or regional ones. 5. Both Hindu Mahasabha and Muslim League claimed that the interests of the Hindus and Muslims were different and hostile to each other. 6. The British policy of divide and rule through measures such as partition off Bengal, communal award, had encouraged the vested interests out to exploit the religious differences. Let's have a recap. Muslim League was formed mainly to fight for the political rights of the Indian Muslims. The Muslim League dubbed the Congress as a Hindu organization. The Congress wanted the division temporary but the Muslim League wanted to be permanent. Partition of India was the ultimate outcome to split the unity of independent India.